Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, uh, this uh, lecture and presentation for most of the members of this channel looks very easy and uh, kind of the repetitive, but uh, I am sure there are still some uh, tip and important issue you can learn and be with me. And especially uh, recently I noticed that many cases uh, by mistake, they reported hypertrophy due to a wrong measurement and view, and uh, unfortunately, cardiologists didn't put attention for that, and the patient labeled as the hypertrophy cardiomyopathy, and uh, you know what happened after that. The, while when I noticed though the study patient had completely normal wall thickness. Now let's go and see our cases, how we can approach based on those recommendations to associate two societies, American and British echocardiogram societies, how we can fix and make sure we do correct measurement in this view, plaques or personal lung access. Based on these uh, two society, the measurement for left ventricle wall thickness and LVID diastole and systole, first of all, we have to get it a good plaques that as much as possible septum is as much as possible parallel or horizontal to this screen and uh, aortic valve a little close to the center and then we go at the end diastole at the line that pass through the tip of the mitral valve this area from here to here a line that pass through the tip of the mitral valve and is perpendicular to the left ventricle long axis this is left ventricle long axis and the line an alignment of our measurement should be perpendicular to this at close to the tip of the mitral valve. So this line will be correct. Then we go measure it uh, IVS or interventricular septum, then LVID, diastole, and then finally at posterior wall. The, our image on the plaques for this measurement, sh we shouldn't see all papillary muscle, papillary muscle. Some part of the papillary muscle sometimes maybe show off tip of that or a little body, but shouldn't see all the papillary muscle. If our papillary muscle is show up, means we are off axis, we have to fix it. So another uh, parameter we need for those measurements, we shouldn't see papillary muscle. And then we don't include uh, corda tendini, trabuculation, and popular muscle, like if we have, for example, in moderator band here, trabuculation on the right side, and here the same. As you can see, we didn't include this corda tendini, the hypoecho line between these two parts. We know this is real posterior wall, not all of it. So we measure it. It's, it looks like very simple and easy and correct. That is the recommendation give us. Now, uh, based on the same recommendation, we can do this measurement at the, by the 2D or M mode. So uh, if we put cursor on the, from the probe, our cursor pass through the tip in this line. The only way is, um, and many tech, uh, prefer to do at this line measurement. So they put cursor and then they measure from here to here and so on continue. First of all, is this one correct or not? Second, if we want to do M mode, this line of the M mode is correct or we have to do something. We have to uh, do something for cursor to do M mode of the left ventricle and then we go measure those uh, diameter and diameters and parameter on M mode. If we want to use 
cares uh, m mode for measurement what is the correct way for fixing this view and fixing our cursor to get it correct measurement and what is the result of this m mode on this cursor if we do it m mode on this cursor line and then we go measure m mode what did give us uh, the result of the measurements now it was very simple easy up to this time now let's go to real cases that every day we have dealing with this is a classic clear good window good patient orientation of the heart optimizing everything is perfect but in practice as we know uh, most of the cases beyond this one now let's go to those cases that some give us many challenge and how we can apply those recommendation in correct way let's look at this first case what about this one we have this is your best uh, view on the plaques that you can get it now which line we use for measurement and which spot this line and this is spot this line and this is spot or this one or this one which one is correct or best way is way what what about the measurement on the uh, in the hostel? do we include this structure or not on our measurement and what is the correct measurement in this one this one this way or this way or finally this way what about posterior wall which one is correct this one this one or this one and final look at this structure the band mid gray here and there is a hypo echo between the this part posterior wall and this one what is this structure do we include the dust one in our measurement if we measure if we can measure at this spot do we include it or not and what is that one here is another case you are going to measure for lb uh, which line we are going to measure and which location this line and this location or this line this location this line or and this location which one is the best and correct way what about posterior wall here posterior wall on 2d you can see you pause it at the end of the hostel and you are going to measure posterior wall which thickness and orientation is correct way for measuring posterior wall this one this one or this one and what is your logic based on the 2d you can see those features and what is your choice for posterior wall measurement now one more question can we do in those cases like this that the hard orientation and geography is a little challenging that we get as you notice here can we measure septum in different spot left ventricle in internal diameter at the hostel in different level for example ivs we measure here at this level for uh, lvid at this level and for posterior wall at this level can we do this way separately or here posterior wall measure here lvid measure here and ivs we measure any spot here 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 can we do that why not or why yes what about this case as you can see we have hypertrophy cardiomyopathy now we want to measure those dimension we use uh, and uh, this which line and which spot this line and spot this direction and spot this direction and spot or what is the best option what about the measurement on the uh, those uh, walls and lv here this one this one 
for the IVS which one is correct or we have another one or not. What about the LVID diastole? This diameter at that spot or this diameter at that spot? What about posterior wall? This one is correct one or this one or another one? And the last one. If we want to measure systolic two on this image, you can see we have three bits. Each bit has different shape, different uh, orientation and distance and each of those spot. Which one is the best, uh, which bit is the best for measuring at the systole, especially LVID at the systole. Which of these bit, first one, second or third one? And generally, does it reliable uh, we measure IV, LVID at the systole too and go uh, take us me, uh, measuring ejection fraction uh, by those two measurements that the ostol and systole with the take uh, uh, technique we can get it if is this technique is reliable for ejection fraction or not and at what situation is the best it give us the best result and almost close to the being can reliable at what situation and situations what is the best technique for that one what about this case i'm sure you have seen a lot case like that and as you can see, we have uh, three bits. Each bit, the view is changed because of the patient breathing and condition the patient has. First of all, which bits is the best bits for picking up that one and measuring those parameters for LV? First bit, this one. Second bit, this one. Or third bit, this one why next the bit or cycle that you had chosen how you measured exactly which spot and which direction and how you measure it if you have water-based marker non-permanent marker you can practice on monitor and draw it and see which one is the best for measuring and check your uh, guest and uh, beside of that imagine you have good window in this patient clear without any artifact and noise what is the best technique or best option for getting and measuring the thickness of the myocardium what is our best choice in this situation in those cases that we don't have plaques window, parasternal or left parasternal or long axis and short axis, can we use low axis uh, parasternal like this or apical tree for measurement of the LV walls and diameter? What about subcostal? What we have to consider in those cases? And should we do that in that situation or not? Now let's go one by one. 